Welcome back, and today we're looking at loop cuts and the extrude tool. Um, so let's go straight into this and create a cube. So don't forget the shortcut key for uh, object is Shift A, and then we go into Mesh and create a cube. Okay, so why loop cut? Well, okay, with this object here, you've got what four, six faces. So what if you wanted to create? Let's create a table. Okay, so how we're going to create a table out of this? We need more faces. We need more edges. We need more vertices. So that's where the loop cut comes into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a table top look. Um, so we're going to go and scale this down to make it look like a table top. There we go. Look, something like that. Let's make it a little bit thinner. Um, okay, so how do we make the legs? So what we'll do is we'll do a control R um, which will give us the loop cut tool um, obviously we can go over here um, let me just come out of that so this is the loop cut tool as you can see just there it says shortcut spacebar control R um, so this is what we're going to do we're going to do control R come down to the edge where you want the cut to happen so we want to go on a, a vertical up and down like that um, and you can use your mouse scroll button so the middle button there and you can add in oh, what's going on so we can Okay, so we can use the control R to get us a loop cut. So this goes all the way around. And you can use your scroll button on your mouse to increase the quantity of loop cuts. So in this case, we only want two here. Um, click again, otherwise you'll basically be moving the loop cuts up and down. Um, so it's just like a double click. And then control R again. And then scroll mouse, we've got two cuts there. Okay, so we've, we'll keep those two selected. And then if you do um, scale, and we want to scale it on the Y axis, so S, Y, and this will move them out equally till we've got the sort of thickness of a table leg, if you like, from the edge to the, to the cut there. And then if we do Alt, keep your finger on Alt, and click on the loop cut there, shift, alt, and uh, loop cut, select the loop cut. Again, what you want to do is scale, so you go S, but on the X, and it'll bring them out to about square. Obviously, we've been messing about with that one, so we're just bringing that in a little bit there. Okay, so that's basically where our legs are going to be. So if we just go underneath, we can, what we're going to do is just going to bring this one out a little bit more. So we're going to hit number three, keep a key uh, number three. So that will take us into the face select. So you've got face select, edge select, and vertice. Uh, we want the face select. And then we're going to select one face. Shift, click again, shift, click again, shift, click again. And then now we're going to use the extrude tool. The extrude tool on the toolbar is just here on the left, extrude region. And the shortcut key is E. And what we want to do now is E. And then we just want to bring it down. So we've got the four legs on our little table. But wait a minute. What if you want a table where the legs are tapered in? That's easy. What we need to do is just go into um, scale. But if we go into scale, it's going to bring them all in. And we don't want that. Um, so what we do is we go into the transform pivot point, which is up here in the, in the menu bar at the top here. Select that, and then we want individual origins. Now when we do a scale, we're scaling each one down individually. And there's our table. 
and obviously you can make any adjustments you like so say we just want to bring that thickness of the table down we can do so might be like yeah that's it we can just bring the thickness of the table down um yeah and that's it so today we've used the loop cut tool where you can create more faces vertices and edges and also we've used the extrude tool this is the basic extrude tool um i hope you learned from today and thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching Ta -da.